Welcome to Scott Automations, fully automated, bone-in, lamb boning room. Over the next 9 minutes, you will be introduced to the main components of the fully automated lamb boning room. Scott Automation Limited and Silver Fern Farms, through their joint venture, Robotic Technologies Limited, RTL, had a vision in 2001 of developing a lamb boning room that eliminated the interaction of bone room operational staff from band saws. This vision was labeled LEAP. By the end of 2010, RTL will have completed all of the research and development to successfully deliver against this vision. 2011 and onward, will see a significant ramp up of commercialization of developed systems. Although having said this, there has already been two commercial sales of the X-Ray Primal system prior to 2010. Four pending X-Ray Primal sales during 2011 and two pending complete systems, one of which is in Australia and the second in Russia. Where does a fully automated lamb boning room start? Two of the most important criteria in automation in red meat processing is firstly, to differentiate between each carcass. Secondly, in a bone room environment, to differentiate between meat and bone. X-ray type systems is the only known technology that can accurately and cost-effectively differentiate between meat and bone. RTL have the world's only commercially operational and legally protected red meat continuous carcass X-ray system. This is where the RTL fully automated lamb boning room commences. To the right of you is the patent protected RTL X-ray system scans each carcass individually and provides relevant cutting data for downstream systems. The system has the capability of operating at 20 carcasses per minute and can be detuned to suit the smallest throughput of any processor. Each carcass is scanned at least twice to ensure an accurate scan. Future generation X-ray systems will also provide grading information to enable the automated boning systems to match a batch of carcasses to market destinations, thus guaranteeing processing companies realize maximum profits. In front of you is the primal system. In the configuration depicted, it separates the carcass into three sections. First the forequarter is removed. Next the middle is separated, leaving the hindquarter on the rail. Operating at up to 10 carcasses per minute, the forequarter is removed between the third and fourth or fourth and fifth ribs to suit a processor's specifications. The use and integration of the X-ray system ensures that the correct rib cut location is achieved each time, resulting in valuable meat remaining on the middle section, not the forequarter. The middle is removed at the H-bone, as either a trump on or a trump off specification, again utilizing the information from the X-ray system. For processors who produce boneless loins, a scallop cut can also be performed. The scallop cut configures the cutting blades into a V-shaped configuration, which enables valuable loin meat, which is typically left on the hindquarter, to be included on the loin. On systems operating at 6 or less carcasses per minute, the primal system can also be configured to perform the required rack and loin separation cut. The benefits of the system include reduced labor, increased yield through correct cutting lines, ensuring high-value meat remains on high-value sections, reduced sawdust, additional recovery when boneless loins are processed, and finally consistency of boning room throughput. An independent analysis has shown that all of these benefits return a per carcass benefit of $1 to $1.50 per head processed. The integration robots, although in the video in front of you, are depicted placing the meat onto a conveyor, have actually been developed to hand over the forequarter and middle sections to the respective forequarter and middle processing systems. A processor who purchases only the X-ray and Primal system would not require these additional two robots.
to the left of you, the hindquarter system, is depicted as Mark 1. The system in its current configuration, can automatically extract the hindquarter from the rail exiting the primal system, D gambrels, and automatically loads onto the deboning jig, within the hindquarter cell. The system then debones, and ejects, the H-bone from the system, in preparation for the loading, of the next hindquarter. The current design, allows for automated knife change over, from a carousel of knives, and is automatically undertaken, when the system senses, that a knife is blunt. RTL is currently developing Mark II which will, have a reduced footprint. Increased cycle time and hence fewer robotic cells required. Have an option to perform knuckle tipping. Have an option to split rather than debone the hindquarter. The equivalent of a six-way cut. To the left and behind you, is the middle system, which is nearing its completion. The middle system, is automatically loaded, by one of the integration robots, integrated to the primal system. Along with, information from the X-ray system, the system, performs additional scanning, to identify, eye muscle size and location, rib length, spinal column, and can also record eye muscle area fat depth, if required by a client. The system then, removes the spinal cord, splits the rack and loin, removes the brisket, removes flaps, can then either split the middle, perform chine boning, produce French racks. The system, will be able to be, specified to be installed, with all or some, of the above functionality, depending upon a client's needs. To the right and behind you, is the four-quarter system, which is nearing its completion. The system, is automatically loaded, by one of the integration robots, integrated to the primal system. After removal, of the spinal cord, the systems will perform, the following head specifications, as required by different client specification needs, neck tipping, neck chops, shank tipping, brisket cut, square cut shoulder, and finally split the forequarter. By the end of 2010, Scott Technology Limited, through its joint venture with Silver Fern Farms, will have all of the equipment developed and operational at Silver Fern Farms processing plant. As a result, RTL will have realized the vision of a fully automated lamb bone in, lamb bone room, conceptualized in 2001. RTL will increase the focus in 2011 and beyond towards commercialization of all of the components on demonstration today, as well as commencing the next stage of the lead vision to undertake the automation of boneless lamb deboning. These developments would not have been possible without the support of Scott Technology Board and staff, Silver Fern Farms, the New Zealand Government, the Australian Government Vitamin and Livestock Australia, CRF Polak Otway, the Australian Small Stock Steering Committee, and Alliance Limited. We thank you for your attention. If you would like to know any more about the solutions, please talk to our staff on the stand.